Sagittarius, Sagittarius. A, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. O, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. A, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Oh, what's up, Saggy baby? What's going on, fire babies? What's going on in the life of a Saggy between the 15th and the 30th of November? Hmm. Hmm. Y'all all in love yourself? Hmm. Hmm. Possibly with a past life soulmate? Hmm. Hmm. I see you, Saggy. <laughs> hey, boo, hey, if this is your first time to my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, look out. I may cuss a little. I may cuss a lot. Just depending on what the hell these cards say. So, if you don't like profanity, this is not your channel. Okay, I don't love you any less. I love you long time. I just cuss. My higher self cuss. We cuss. So, I've just come to accept that. To all of my new subscribers, my old subscribers, my family, uh, y'all, thank you for all the likes, the shares, the comments. I truly appreciate it. Thank y'all for allowing me to share my life with y'all. Y'all, we have grew so fast and come so far. And I'm just thankful because without you guys, really, your love and support, shit wouldn't be popping like this. So, thank you so very much. Y'all, it's Venus and Scorpio, though. I don't know about y'all. I've been hiding in the closet. <laughs> been hiding in the closet. <laughs> Don't want to see nobody. <laughs> Till sad season start in the Mercury. Retrograde goes in the y'all. You understand? Because I am. I'm tired. I'm motherfucking tired. If you want to. I'm tired. Okay. So. <laughs> I can understand. A lot of my sadies may definitely feel. I am tired. Like. Damn it. Y'all not. You ain't lost yourself yet. Oh my goodness, you still here? Type shit. So I, I can understand totally. All right. Um, <laughs> this will be for my Sun Moon Rising Venus as well as the cross, cross Watchers for the sign of Sagittarius between the 15th and the 30th of November. This is not a personal, it's a general. If you need a personal, it's in the description. Hit me up. Yay. Let's get it. All right. So I'm going to first do your spirit message from this time. All right. All right. Spirit, please show me. I need to know for the sign of Sagittarius between the 15th and the 30th of November. Because Sagi and Connor, this is a very strong period of healing, Sagi. Some of you guys are mending relationships, possibly with the father figure during this time, or possibly um, you could also be um, a father figure as well. Or this could also be the father of your children. But some of you all, you're really just really wanting to mend fences. You're tired of holding on to that hurt of what people could have done to you in the past. I feel like spirit is really trying to push you towards using the things that you've gone through, using your experience, okay, in order to push through them, you know, in a way that can actually enlighten others. And, you know, they can actually kind of take your perspective and your philosophy on the things that they also go through. So your wisdom that you, your experiences that you had to go through, actually, Saggy, has brought you wisdom and spirit is needing for you to heal the emotional attachment behind them because for some of you all it's been heavy some of you all are waiting for someone to come um speak to you during this time or you could be moving towards someone but i feel like there's this energy of like would this person be stuck on the past that you could also be kind of heartbroken from the past as well but spirit is really wanting you to move up right don't stay in that place where, you know, it hurt and just remembering the pain, but moving forward, you know, in a way that is victorious, Saggy, so that you can have your peace, prosperity, the happiness that Jupiter is trying to bestow upon to you, Jupiter back home. How y'all feel? I know y'all feel good, okay? Saggy, there's a need for, during this time, for you guys to see things for what they are. Take the mask off. Take the blindfold off. There's this sense of authenticity that's trying to reign through, you know, during this time, and that energy is going to be very therapeutic and healing for you because I feel like some of you all have been really just using work and, you know, your passions and things of that nature to kind of mask your emotions about certain situations that could have taken place in your past. And for some of you all, spirit is like, quit holding on to this, you know. For some of you all, you could also be um, dealing with a soulmate who you feel may mirror you. Um, I feel that, Saggy, some of y'all are scared of love. There's a deep focus on your heart chakra during this time. A lot of you all really need to get out in nature because your crown chakra is going to be on fire. And for you to truly understand some of the, um, for some of you all, you have premonitions. Some of you all have crystal clear like films that stroll through, like stroll through your third eye. For some of you all, there's a need to be outside to really learn how to hone your abilities for my newer, for my newer, um, 
in light workers and intuitives because I feel like some of y'all are afraid of it or afraid of what people or how people may perceive your gift. But it's a blessing, you know, for the creator to bestow a spiritual gift on you, baby. That is truly a blessing. Many a call, few are chosen. Be thankful. Gratitude is the attitude during the season that you're chosen. You know, the things that you have to go through for some of y'all during this time, y'all going to be getting them damn snakes up around you. And in the midst of healing, some of y'all want you to take the mask off and be really, really willing to see situations from a different perspective. Some of y'all going to really understand that a lot of people in the past that you guys call friends, maybe some of even your family. This is a very revealing time. A lot of y'all may be finding out shit that really breaks your heart. Because for some of you all, you've been holding anger possibly towards someone for some time. And then you're learning this truth. And this there's a need to release. Okay? There's a need to release. Some of you all, um, some of you all, y'all pineal gland is crazy. Some of y'all are, looks like astro planning, like to other dimensions I'm seeing during this time to possibly get some type of revelations or get some type of answers from spirit. Some of you all, it's really about what your heart truly desires during this time. Sadly, you got to be real with yourself. What is it that you truly want? Okay? Because I feel like you hold it in the, grasp, in the grasp of your hands. It's just about you being able to see the abundance that's already around you and be grateful for it in order for you to be able to be receiving to your blessings, no matter how they come, without holding any type of expectations towards an outcome. Okay? But I do feel a sense of newness. All right? And I feel that, Sagittarius, you're going to have a hard time accepting this newness if you're not really willing to see the beauty in yourself and how this really, really, truly made you very upstanding. And you got to see the beauty in the situations around you. Your intuition is crazy. And some of y'all are already feeling people coming back and doing a oh, wow, bow, ta da, watch out now. It's the little one and it's not bow wow on your ass. And, you know, you just, it's, I'm going to be honest with you, Sagi. It's really about the internal. You know, situations may have occurred with people on the on the surface. However, the lesson in attracting these people in your world, even in your past, if you moved away from this energy, there is something within the self because I feel like some of y'all are really finally seeing, you know, why is it why is it that you attract these certain type of people? What is it that is within you that needs to be shifted, okay, or altered, or it could be um changed okay in order for you to attract this form of newness and fulfillment that you really want and you desire in your life okay but there's this sense of like rising out the ashes like a damn phoenix that is stepping into their power some of you all during this time i strongly feel thank you spirit i'm sorry i take this up they say take it up um some of you all during this time i strongly feel the energy of it's like, I know what I want, but I don't really know how to get it. Some of you all are really needing to, uh, some of you all may be practicing or working on, I'm hearing the law of attraction. Some of you all are really focusing on how to manifest what it is that you really want in your life, okay, during this time. All right, so thank you. I'm going to use these cards over this piece. All right, so let's get into your love sector. Spirit, what is... Occurring from the 15th to the 30th of November. For my beautiful Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Love, what can they expect? End of, month. End of November. Sun, Moon, Ooh. and Rising, Sagittarius, and Love. The 15th to the 30th of November. What can Sagittarius expect? Yeah, some of you all, some of you all may be. Wanting to make an offer to an earth sign or there's an earth sign, a younger earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo, who wants to make an offer towards you. But I feel like maybe this person has hurt you in the past, okay? I feel some of y'all could also be having issues with your children during this time. For those of you who have air sign and earth sign children, this Venus, um, sorry, this Venus retrograde could have had them really showing their ass in school and cutting up. My son has a Sagittarius rising. <laughs> And he been lit, okay? Um, for some of you all, I feel like you may feel trapped to situations or maybe there's a situation where you feel like somebody is trying to keep you stuck and stagnant. I feel like if you're dealing with another Sagittarius or Earth sign, for some of you, it, that that's the case. And it has to do with finances. This person just kind of wants you around because I'm, I feel sad that you make them feel comfortable financially. But some of you all, 
you're really, really, really wanting to be, some of you all are really wishing to break free and really go recreate your world. Some of you all could be wishing, um, wishing to move forward or waiting for someone to move forward who could be of the sign, uh, from the sign of Pisces, Libra, Taurus, Aries, Virgo. I feel that some of you all, y'all, y'all just want love during this time. Y'all want love and loyalty. And it's like asking for a kidney. Some of you all, excuse me, some of you all could be reconciling with um, a Libra, okay? I feel like this person could have possibly been married or this person could have, like, cut you off in the past, all right? I feel that maybe you or this other person could have been indecisive. But somebody definitely has some type of abandonment issue or rejection issue. And intuitively, I feel like you feel this person is going to be coming back. This could also be someone, uh, Saggy, who you could have actually... Um, been in some type of previous marriage with or some type of like family dynamic some of you all are going to be um <clears throat> during this time dealing with the court system i don't know if <sighs> maybe you want to reconcile with somebody but maybe you're afraid that they come in for your head when you reconcile with them and you're very sensitive with your energy some of y'all really want to reconcile with this damn air sign gemini libra aquarius and i feel like this person or yourself you know, it's just indecision, you know. I feel like in order to make that offer or accept the offer from an earth sign, you or this other person have to be willing to. And this, I see strong Virgo energy. But I feel like you or this other person have to be willing to move away from the past and move away from what happened in the past. There needs to be forgiveness in the situation. Some of you all really want to recreate or some of you all are really wishing for a Pisces to come back. I see that too. Some of you all... You really want to, I feel like you had a family dynamic with someone. This could have been a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This could have also been um, air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Earth. I feel like that was not an equal give and take um, in a situation. Some of you all are being very defensive or I feel like you feel stuck in a situation like you you want to make an offer possibly to a fire sign, but maybe there was a whole bunch of conflict in the past. And I feel like, Sagittarius, you or this other person really don't know how to move forward because I feel like in the past there could have been some some form of deception. Some of y'all could also could have also moved away from an air sign in the past, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, because you don't trust them. You feel like they sneaky. Some of you have new love coming, okay? And I feel like the new love for some of y'all is actually renewed love with somebody who actually you went through some type of betrayal with. I feel that <clears throat> some of y'all are going to connect with this person through the court system. Like, this is some weird shit, Saggy. I'm feeling the energy of somebody coming for you through court because they really don't even know how to come at you anymore to express their love, even though it is so much love here. This could be you or the other person. It's like, this is some vindictive shit. But it's like a vindictive way to get somebody back, kind of like... Fight me then, fuck me later. That's the energy that I feel. And I'm sorry for being so raw and uncut, but that's what I feel and that's what I see. Some of you all, some of you all, there's a change needed to happen, okay, internally. There's an internal change, a perspective shift needing to happen in order for you guys to have that harmony, that, that harmony, that newness, that moving forward that you so pray for. you just like, the past, why the fuck do we got to keep talking about the past? It happened already. We can't change it. We can only do something to us. We can both compromise and come in together to fix it going forward if this is what we want to do. Some of y'all are going to cut off the air side. Gemini Libra Aquarius. I feel like you've been in your head about this for quite some time because I feel like you love this person. But I feel like this person is kind of like I'm feeling the energy of like tit for tat. Like maybe you could have did something to this person. Or maybe you could have like stepped out on this person in the past or Maybe they did this to you, Saggy, and it's like, even though you and this person really want each other's energy, it's like, no, it's kind of like a, I'm going to get you first. It's like a one up and it's weird, <clears throat> but there's so much love there. Some of y'all really want to move forward and offer your love towards the fire sign. Um, Aries Leo Sag, I feel like if this is the Sag man, you could want a Gemini woman as well. I feel like it could also be reversed. You could also be a Sag woman with a Gemini man wanting to move forward towards you. But this person is really on the inside. This person is bipolar as shit. It's really two of them. Like, I know they have twins. It's really two of them for real. But I'm going to be honest with you. Maybe this person is afraid that maybe you're going to leave, you know, Sag. I feel like this person is afraid you're going to leave. 
or you're going to be rejected or they're going to be rejected. And so that's what's preventing this union from coming forward, ego and pride. But there is going to be a tall moment for some of y'all who are dealing with a Scorpio who could have like moved away from you in the past or cut you off due to some form of deception, Sag. I feel like this person is very reflective during this time. They really want to come back and make an offer. But I'm going to be honest with you. The offer is going to be half-assed. And for some of y'all, they're still coming back with this third-party-ass energy. Some of you all are really needing to acknowledge um, your feelings about a certain situation, especially if it includes an Aries with this Emperor card. I feel like some of you all, there's a lot of egos. There's somebody that you're dealing with. If this is an Aries, I feel like... For some of y'all, this person could have made you feel rejected. You really want to move forward toward this person, but you're afraid that this person is going to be very cutting with your words and you're already in this place of healing, okay? I feel like you and this other person could also be going through a transformation. So if you want your damn Ten of Cups, honestly, I feel that you really want to start new towards the situation. And all the elements are here, air, earth, wind, and fire. I mean, wind, air, earth, air, air, earth, fire, and water. Everybody's here. But I feel like, Sag, this is the goal for you. I want a happy life. I want a stable, secure family setting. For some of you, you're going to go get your family back. Kudos to you, Sag, because that takes a lot of courage. Some of you all really want to transform a situation. For some of y'all, you're definitely dealing with um, Aries and the sign of Taurus. Some of y'all could have also been dealing with a Taurus person that could have been married or could have been attached to someone. They could also be going through some type of like legal issue. Or some type, some form of separation. So maybe this person is wanting to move forward towards you during this time, Sag. But I see you ultimately healing and just really, really, really just trusting your intuition and going off of what it is that you feel. How is it that, you know, you Taurus, you Aries, you Virgo, you Scorpio, you Pisces. How is it that you, you Gemini, you Libra, you Aquarius. How is it that you make me feel? You Cancer, because everybody's here. How is it that do you make me feel and does this situation truly fulfill you? A lot of y'all are afraid to communicate because I feel like some of y'all, it's a damn Capricorn. Some of y'all are afraid to communicate with a Capricorn because you feel like this person can be very fucking toxic. You feel like this person wants to lock you down. But some of you, you really needed to speak your truth. I'm a Sagittarian. I'm the philosopher. I bring expansion. I bring, I like to be free. You ain't finna lock me down in no damn box. It ain't happening, but we can compromise. It's about you speaking your truths. Telling someone from the past, look, this hurt. This hurt. And as much as I want to move forward with you going forward, I don't trust you. So I don't want to rush into anything. Let's just flow like the water, baby. What's hard about that? And truly, truly being able to show forth that change and be ex expect to receive that and if you don't if you're not able to see that baby unplug the power cord period and there's nothing wrong with you focusing on your own self and what it is that you want as far as fulfillment but if it's having to do with anything coming from a place of fear of rejection or abandonment issues i think those internal wounds has to be healed in order for you to move forward and be happy because you're going to keep taking that same, you're going to keep taking that same crime and putting it on somebody who didn't do it. And if this is somebody in your energy, that's what's going on, baby. And there's this coming to terms with that during this time and just truly making a decision based off of what it is that you truly feel, not impulsively, but, but, but what makes sense, what feels right. What your intuition is telling you, what that dream, what those dreams are telling you, what spirit world is telling you, you're supposed to do. Okay, so this is what I have for my Sagis between the 15th and the 30th of November. If you need that personal, hit me up. I love y'all. Much love, much light. Many blessings. Namaste, babies. Till next time. Bye, family.